So I just ran BF4 on the A10 6800K. It's an APU processor, so it has a graphics card built in. It has the 8670D graphics card, and this is the result we got from that. 7 to 10 frames per second. Pretty unplayable. So we're going to do some hybrid crossfire next, and we're going to add its partner card, the HD7750 PCI Express card. It's got 2GB of RAM in this one. I'm going to stick that together with the APU and uh, see what results we get. Hopefully we'll get double the frame rate. Let's give it a go. This is the setup we're running. We've got a EVGA Hadron Air Mini ATX case or Micro ATX case. Look at that. It's built in 500 watt power supply. We're using a Samsung 840 Pro 512 gig SSD. 16 gig of Corsair 1866 MHz RAM DDR3, obviously the A10 processor. Let's take a look at the back. We've got the water cooling pole slots. We've got built in DVI, DisplayPort, and HDMI. We've got Wi Fi built onto the board, it's a gigabyte board. Can't give you the model right now, I've forgotten it. 7.1 surround sound audio built in, USB 3. Obviously, gigabit Ethernet and slot for two. Gra uh, sorry, a, a double slot graphics card or a, a dual slot um, card of some sort, any any kind. Standard power supply and cooling fan there, and it's gold rated, so pretty cool. And the side to that looks like this. Nice clear panel. Usually in the system, I'm running a an Asus R9270X, and this card performs extremely well. I will post a comparison of that as well against the Hybrid Crossfire. Obviously, this is a different class of card, but however, <clears throat> if space and uh, lack of space in the case is an issue for you, a smaller card like this would probably be better anyway. Or heat, if heat's an issue. So yeah, let's get cracking! Okay, and there it is installed into the machine. Just sitting there nicely in the single PCI Express slot on that motherboard. No external power needed, extra power. But like I said, usually we're running the R9270X anyway, which takes two six pins, so that's why they're there. I'm just putting this in to test hybrid crossfire. And this is the back. I mean, bother screwing it in. It's not heavy enough to any damage so let's get this thing turned on so we'll go into the BIOS and we need to enable the onboard graphics because it will use PCI Express devices first they always do okay so we go into the BIOS okay. and this is an interactive BIOS so it's pretty cool um, let's go over to the peripherals at the top here you've got peripherals and then graphics configuration and then we have to set the integrated graphics as forced because as default it's going to use the graphics card and ignore the APU so we change that to forced and it will use both so let's change that to the highest amount and we'll save and restart okay and I'll boot into Windows Pretty quick on an SSD, it'll be alright. Two or three seconds, it's usually in Windows. Two, three. Mm -hmm. Nice and fast. Okay, we log in. Windows 8. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to the AMD control center, the Catalyst control center. You right click desktop and we go to. It feels like it. Sometime tomorrow, today, yesterday, this evening. Another day. AMD Catalyst Control Center. And then we go down to performance. And then you'll see in there, if you've configured it correctly, AMD Radeon Dual Graphics. 
There you go. Currently disabled, so it's just using the APU still. You want to use both. Hybrid crossfire. You tick the enable hybrid button, the enable AMD dual graphics, and tell it to use it if you wish for applications that have no associated application profile. Apply that. Your screen will flicker and adjust. It's gone, ah, injection. Okay, and that's it. Effectively, that's now applied. You can uh, hopefully play games and stuff and, and notice a bit of a difference in performance. So let's get cracking. So I just finished running the hybrid crossfire test on the same settings on the same computer and I found that I was getting an average of 14 frames a second. So I mean it, it has doubled effectively so I've got an extra 50% incre well 100% increase on what I was getting. However I would expect a lot more from a, even an entry level card and a processor running together you'd expect perhaps 20 to you know 25 30 frames remember i'm running this at 1080p on ultra settings and it is the leading benchmark game on the pc and all the consoles i think as well however i'd probably recommend running this at 720p if you're going to run on uh, this game at all with this setup so yeah as you can see up there you know it's getting barely 10 frames most of the time um, ultra settings but apart from that probably 720p be alright and you know any other game perhaps that's not quite as you know technically stunning <laughs> I guess anyway catch my unboxing video of the, the graphics card and uh, I'll catch you later on thanks for watching